convinced that any money system in itself is in fact a social function. It's a social thing. It's not a piece of gold or paper or whatever. It's an agreement in a group to use something to, to mediate our social relations. Our project is to stimulate the people's behavior and it's all the inhabitants of the region. And of course from the core business point of view of our waste company, it's uh, to stimulate people to reduce their waste, to separate better and that kind of things. And in a broader sense, it's also to stimulate uh, environmental friendly behavior. So that's the goal of uh, our uh, complementary currency. We want to lower the amount of waste, diminish uh, the turnover of waste. And one simple thing people can do is put a sticker on their letterbox. We don't want all this free publicity which lowers the amount of uh, waste paper. And they get points for that. The question then is what can we do with these points? Because it's not money, you, can, you cannot go to a shop. Well, you can go to the municipality and exchange these points. Uh, for example, um, for a light bulbs, uh, for a, a container to do composting and that kind of things. So it's a list with uh, lots of different uh, items. It was working over eight years now in a few municipalities and we are now rolling it out over the whole of the province, so to cover 44 municipalities. And a nice aspect is also that if the municipality joins the system, they have to do uh, the minimum uh, goals of reaching these waste uh, items, but they can put in other items. For example, they can say uh, we want to uh, stimulate people's behavior towards cultural, sports, social, whatever uh, other objective that the local authority has. And they can use the, the currency scheme to, uh, to stimulate these goals as well. The central money system, we have, the monopoly money system we have, uh, is a threat to our society. It does not solve problems, it creates problems. Of course that's a quite a general formulation, I'm aware of that. Uh, but for, uh, an example is uh, the climate change. With this very uh, small system I'm uh, describing, it contributes little but it contributes and it uses something completely different than, than the euro, the dollar and, and our uh, traditional mainframe economic system. Because the, 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 the climate change is a consequence of our economic system. We have been using these fossil fuels and so on. Uh, never thing, nothing was planned and for a century or more it was no problem. But uh, since we have th this drive to, to grow and grow and grow and make profits and profits and more money and, and so on, the consequence of, of that is that we have this problem uh, specifically with uh, the CO2 and fossil fuels. So now is the moment uh, to counter that and to start doing different things where the complementary currency can be one element. So I think it's a, it's a, a global a global thing we have to change and I, I mentioned only the, the CO2 uh, question, there are a lot of other uh, things and the complementary currency is one instrument we can use to, to solve some of these problems. Mm -hmm.